know how to grow them, just not What <laughs> is going on, Reefing Fan March here, Frag Box TV. Okay, so we did the first episode, we walked through the show, kind of gave you a glimpse of everything. On this one, what I want to do is take a little more time and just really focus on those special, special corals, the ones that really stand out. There's a lot here, a lot to focus on. So I'm going to start with... Mr. Infamous, the man, the legend, Josh, Josh Pork Sandwich. I'm a big fan, I'm a Zoa head myself. I'm crazy, crazy about the Zoas. Um, these ones really stood out. We don't see a lot of these, and especially this big and this colorful. These, well, we call them blue agaves. What do you call them? Uh, seductions. Blue seductions, agave, yeah. I see them sometimes salted agave, kind of like different morphs, same yeah. sort of poly. Yeah. Really, really special. I'm surprised they're still here. There's a lot of nice pieces here. The candy apples, there's some gobstops. Lots of acanthos. Really, really impressed with the size, color. Tons of them here, but I'm not going to focus on those. Even torch. Really, really nice. Beautiful torches. It's too many. Too many torches to name. It's kind of a lot of the same stuff. I don't mean to sound uh, a little... I guess we're spoiled. You guys have seen in the videos what we bring in. Bring in a ton, a ton of coral. So I'm really looking right now for the absolute, absolute nicest ones in this show. Sour Banky almost, almost makes the cut. It's almost there. Quite a nice piece. Burning banana looking good. Mm, we are on the hunt team. We are on the hunt. It's really hard to focus. Wow, that, that's nice. Favia is that? Favia of the gods. Favia of the gods. Mm. Th this thing just made me religious. Wow. Here we go. Love the presentation on this tank. Lots and lots of corals here. Very busy. Ooh, I'm seeing something here in the back. Hello, what are you hiding? Hi, how's it going, man? What is this? I can't even focus on it. It's so nice. I think it's a discosoma. That is a truly special mushroom. That is a one of a kind. I guess all of these are. Maybe he's hiding them over here in the corner for a reason. This is like sexy corner going on. Very nice, Favia. This is this is something I haven't seen before. It's got something I've never seen. What's this, brother? This sparkly looking, is it play coral? What, you got chocolate? I'm going to the next booth, goodbye. No chocolate, I'm out. Very nice, oh that's that's actually really special. You just buy that? Um, yeah. You have a good eye. Oh, thank you. You know what you're looking for. Is. That's a special special blaster right there. Yeah, Blastamusa welsi, almost like a maxima. It's a big, big head. Is it, the head is huge. It's huge, yeah. It's something between a, a welsi and maybe a maxima. So, jawbreaker mushrooms here. Very, very nice. Same with these right next to them. Very cool people. Gani, 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 gani. It's different. I've never seen a plate coral like that, orange with blue. Same with this. Very special pieces. Oh, your alien eyes are on fire. Perfect example. Top tier aquatics. Here's all this free advertising, and I should charge for this shit, man. Putting them in front of thousands of people. Uh, a couple hours have passed. Store, uh, store. It's not a store. This is so nice to get out of the shop. We're here at the show. A little bit quieter. I guess everyone went to go have lunch, um, like we did. Let's see what's going on here. We're strictly. Strictly fish. So that sort of seems like uh, a lie because it seems like they have a lot of corals. It's not just fish. Very nice stuff, if I say so. Crazy standout pieces. I'm seeing... Uh, very nice. I don't mean to shit on stuff. You know what? I'm not going to focus on scolies. There's too many scolies here at the show. I'm not going to talk about acanthos. There's lots. That's a pretty cool piece, actually, if I do say so. But there's lots. Uh, we see a lot of these come through the store. So I'm really looking for stuff. You know, master scolies, bleeding apples, candy apples, war paints. Master Acanthos open brains. We see a lot of that stuff come through the shop. So I'm really really looking for uh, Stuff that I haven't seen. So this is a very biased very personal video right now. Acans for days Addictive corals very nice. This is a, that's a very cool variety actually right there yeah, That's a nice one ADHD is very strong today. I really should walk the show sort of in an order. Maybe that's what I'll do now. I feel like these guys have three booths here too. Let me go a little slower. Maybe I'll kind of do them like this. I'll do aisles. That's what we'll do. Okay. That's very unusual. So yeah. if there's one I'm going to spotlight, it kind of looked, it tricked me for a second. It kind of looked like an Encanto. I guess because it's so close and I'd expect it to be singing this poor sign arena over here. Very nice uh, Lobo. Not the craziest colors in the world, but just unusual. It's kind of Hey, what's up, man? Well, you want to be on our channel? <laughs> sure. How are you? Nice, nice to meet you, man. Okay, you got to check this out. I'm gonna, I'm gonna showcase two from this booth here because I've never seen a sign arena like this. It's blue, like a true blue, and then it's got like a gold yellow streak veins running from the mouth right to the tip. Beautiful size, large piece. This one also quite nice. I have hello, dynamite chalice. Hello, hiding in the rough. Look at this. 
a little, little, cool little specimen of uh, what we call rainbow dynamite. Sorry, if I didn't mention, I'm looking right now at Top Shelf Aquatics. These guys have three, three individual booths here. They're killing it. Let's see. What do I win? What do I get? Orange cup. Shit. <laughs> Going to do another video just on the hardware of the show. Some of the new things that are coming out. Um, the Red Sea Reef and Roller Mat, that kind of stuff. But this one's going to be strictly coral. I'm just going to talk only, only about coral in this one. A lot, a lot of torch at the show, but something going on with this tank. The gold torch is just on fire. Perfect. <laughs> they're they're extended. They're looking good. The color is bang yeah, on. Everybody's selling this fire. Yeah, yeah, but right? this, this, something about this one, I don't know, maybe because they're writing the radions and not Kessels, this is just, radians. that's about as textbook as it gets. That's, yeah. that's what you want to yeah, see sure. out of a gold the torch. These look good. Mm -hmm. This is really cool like here. Look really at this. Strong. This appears to be maybe an A can. Am I looking at a green A can with pink mouths? Yeah. These are crazy all around. You got rainbows yeah. and yellows. These are all very, very nice. This is fucking crazy unusual. And I know it's green and green isn't usually like a standout color, but those two colors together, the pink mouth and then the green, very, very, even this one next to it, looks like it might even be like some sort of Vietnam kind of Aiken, but that's a standout piece. The rest, not to knock on any of them, all beautiful, I'm sure really nice, but the green and pink, I mean, that, that's definitely a highlight piece, and my eyes are drawn to this. Who are you? Wow. A Fabia? What is that? Blasto. Blasto. Oh, get out of here, really. But it's small, it's almost like a Merletti style on the, on the smaller ends. I think Blastos have become so, so popular in the last year or two. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful stuff here. Who are we looking at? Coral Exotic. Coral Exotic. If I would have done a show like this three, four years ago, completely, completely different. It's crazy how corals, they almost go through fads. Um, you, we didn't see any acanthos. We, torches, they were popular, but they weren't as expensive. We're seeing a lot of different colors. It's really, really changed over the years. Something that I find really surprising at this show is the amount of rock flowers, but I guess because they're endemic here to Florida, they literally go and pick them in their backyard. I'm just trying to get in to this and see if we can find anything crazy. I'm seeing some nice mushrooms, some more encantos. I'm almost glossing over them at this point because they're so... There's so much, it's overwhelming. Uh, even the scolies. Zoa, zoa. A lot of the stuff that I see here that's grown out that they culture is stuff that we also culture. So I guess stuff that grows well in captivity does for a lot of the reefers out there. And I apologize in advance for the audio. If it's a little off, my microphone that I love and hate has died on me. I'm seeing some nice pink lemonade. Some nice Maxima Clay. I'm sorry, man. Colony. So this is unusual. You know what? Everyone's doing frags here. You can actually get a half-decent Indo-cultured size piece of branching gold hammer. That's that's the first time I'm seeing it here at the show. So something I want to comment really quickly. You don't see any, any colonies. You see that we bring in shipments and we're always offering a colony of hammer or a colony of acro. Everything here, 98, 97% is frags. Everything is tiny, tiny, tiny. And it's just interesting how the market is so different. We are at the Worldwide Corals booth. Let's see what's going on. Lots of acros and zoas. Lots of bread and butter stuff. I'm seeing Sunny D's, God of War, Captain America, Fruit Loops, Red Hornets, all the bread and butter cherry stuff. Classic zoas, purple monsters. That's kind of like a new, new classic that they've become. They're very, very popular. They grow like a weed. Be careful where you're sticking with the tech. That is the nicest candy apple red I think I've seen today. Almost Bowser looking. They got nice black sort of contrast on them. Tons of acro. I'm trying to find, like I said, the I'm looking at right now. What is that? Maybe a chalice? Grafted chalice? I have no idea. It's which? This. This is Monty? No. That is uh, Stellaria. Stellaria. Yeah, Stellaria. Chalice. chalice. Chalice, yeah. It's, how did you get him to graft? Just do it? It came, it came in that way. That's, that's unusual, man. That's really cool. I haven't seen any grafted chalice yet. Yeah, that's insane. That's insane. What is it? Sign Arena? Because yep. I can't get nothing. No, that's one of a kind. You are not going to see. You're not going to see one like this again. Seven. Beautiful, man. Beautiful, beautiful piece. Yeah, you will not see. You will not see another one like that. Everyone is always asking us for a frag of the cabbage coral out of our Red Sea Reef for 250 here in the store. Look at this. I feel good now. Worldwide coral. Out of all the nice frags, look. They got some bounce mushrooms, some recordia, some crazy stuff. But they also have one. Little, little cabbage coral. This thing has become incredibly... Oh, sorry, two. This one's even greener. Yep. Everyone's always asking for a piece off of our colony. Sorry, guys. You got to come here to Orlando to get one. It's become sort of rare. It's not It's not the craziest coral, but it's not common the way it used to be. Check this out on the corner here. This is called Beast. Mm -hmm. Beast Monty. Where are we looking at? This is Reef aquaculture specialist. Looks to be like some sort of, maybe an Andada similar to a beach bum kind of mm -hmm. next to it. But it's got red polyps, very, very nice. Nice collection here of Zoas. 
Different names though, so that's the thing to keep in mind. Sometimes you see a morph, oh, who are you? There's this little yellow guy hiding in the rough next to the candy apple. What's that gun? Right there. Uh, these are the... Yeah, um, yeah, that. Grim Reaper. Grim Reaper. I have never seen those. Okay, something to keep in mind. Everyone's got a different name for different corals. So this is something we sell uptown. We're calling it Mr. Fuzzy, but we are down here at Blue Water Reef. They call it Silver Surfer. I kind of like their name better. I don't know if I'm allowed to change it halfway through our lineage. Oh, these are nice too. Look how well puddled they are. Holy shit. What is that? Uh, right there on the end. To be honest, I don't have a name for it. It's called To Be Honest, that's it. To Be Honest, honest Frank. What you see is what you get. It's a very special Blasto right there. I don't think the camera's ever going to pick up how colorful this thing is. It's got red, yellow, gold going on. I don't mean to make this video all about Blastos because I've covered a lot of them, but this one is this one is up there. This is a really, really special beast. It's not just one head. You're getting one, two, three, four. It's almost like a mini colony at this point. This one up here also pretty cool, but that is a, a standout piece. No price on it so you know I'm not going to ask because it is going to be out of my budget. Oh yeah, who are we looking at? Forget the card, what's this? Clear view aquatics and corals, hello. Very very nice setup. Torches, you know I'm not going to talk about torches. There's too many torches at the show. I'm looking for the really fucking weird, the really unusual. Yeah, kind of like splitting scolies like this, button scolies like this. Probably from, probably from Australia, maybe. Are they button scolies? Yes, sir. Yeah, they kind of look like, you've seen ones in our shipments before, but never this vibrant, never this nice. These are really cool. So I wasn't going to talk about torches on this video, but now we're looking at, this is like if Holy Grail had sex with New York Knicks and then popped out something with almost like a pink polyp on the end. It's very unusual, very, very different. And it's a subtle, subtle difference. You might not pick up on it if you don't know what you're looking for. These are stunning, of course. I, I can't keep up with the names because every different booth I go to, and plus we're from a different country, right? So all the, all the names are different down here. But this one is very, very subtle and unusual difference. You have that pink, bulbous, little polyp on the end. I've never seen a torch quite like this one here. Lots and lots of, uh, what was I going to say? Not recording. These are not recording. These are rock flower anemones. I'm overwhelmed actually with the amount at this show. It's not like there's a few. There is a tremendous, tremendous amount. And they're all beautiful. But if there's one that really stands out after walking the whole show, there's a golden one. I'm over here at Trash Panda. I love the name. Love the logo. Huh? <laughs> over here look at this this is one look at this little he's truly gold yellow he's off to the side little hidden gem if there was one rock flower to cover it's this one right here this is a little little another hidden gem over here in the corner there's a lot of colorful corals at the show a lot of colorful corals in this tank in general right now i am at i fragget i guess this is the guy who are you i fragget he does the fragging this is still sitting here because I think a lot of people don't know what it is, but this is a branching Cyphastria. So it's like, you hear me talk about it all the time in the store. It's like Cyphastria, except instead of encrusting, it's actually going to branch out. It almost always comes in this red, purpley sort of variety. I think this might be another one over here, even nicer. So it's not the craziest coral. It's not a crazy holy grail mushroom $5,000 piece. What does something like that run? Like 40. 40 bucks. It, it's very, very reasonable. Sorry, we got cut out because there was someone getting arrested. But anyways, branching Cyphastria. Incredibly uncommon, borderline rare. She probably shouldn't be here, but I think people don't know what they're looking at. Um, I think often we're just drawn to those very luminescent, bright, look like they're almost painted on colors. And then this here, this kind of stumped me. I've never seen anything like this. It's a, uh, what did you call it, rain? Rain of war. Rain of war. It looks almost like a grafted favia. It's a very strange green on orange and then they almost trade polyps. So on the orange side he's got green and on the green he's got highlights of orange. Very cool little frag. Something I'm noticing here at the show is stuff is very, uh, they look old. So you can tell by the plugs. Nothing is freshly cut. These are old, old frags. There's lots of heads per frag. Lots of coralline, lots of life, lots of sea, sea action going on. None of these are fresh cut. He's probably had them growing um, at least at least for a month or if, if not more than that on each of these plugs here. Fairy farts. Oh, Mind if I record? Yeah, yeah. This is something I keep seeing here at the show. For me, it's uncommon. Maybe for you guys, it's common. You see it a lot. But this is something I've never seen before. It kind of looks like something back in the day we used to call Bob Marley, um, but not quite. Here they call them fairy farts, or what was the other name? Uh, Rainbow Rhino. Rainbow Rhino. And they're really, if you can't tell from the thing, that they're quite large. Like they're dime-sized heads. They're really fat. They almost look like 
something like a flamethrower had sex with a, with an utter chaos. Really, really cool piece. If there was one Zoa here in this tank I was going to take home, it'd probably be something like this. Oh, we have something like this similar. What do you call these yellow ones, these yellow pallets? Yeah, we call them gold malls. Gold malls. Oh, we call them golden revolvers. Interesting. Cool. What are you guys called? RVA Corals. What up? Hey, right now we are at Perfect Corals. And perfect is a great word to describe this Yuma right here. Very, very nice piece. Healthy, nice size, lots of color going on. It's got another one over here. Beautiful, beautiful Yumas. I haven't seen a lot of Yumas at the show. I'm seeing a lot of discos, bounce mushrooms, tons of Zoas. Not Yumas though. I think I'm looking at over here some micro, micro acans. Look at these. This is, I haven't seen anything else at the show quite like this one. And same with this mushroom over here. Almost looks like a St. Thomas mushroom, but not quite. Where I can put it. Okay, so I said I wasn't going to record any acanthos because there's so many at the show, but I'm going to make an exception for this one right here. This is something else. Size and color, yellow, orange, purple, get out of here with this thing. This is, I would say, one of the most unusual acanthophilias at the show. Again, it's not the brightest, it's not the most colorful, it's just I'm looking for... Uh, unique colors and patterns and variations that you wouldn't typically find together. Okay guys, I haven't covered any anemones at the show because there's so many. I haven't found a lot of variation either. A lot of them are sort of like this. We're seeing cool flames and bubbles. This one is spectacular. I don't know what you call it. What is that called? Uh, it's the Colorado Sunburst. I'm not going to ask how much that is, but really, the really star show is over here. This is a true yellow. I don't think the camera is going to pick up quite how nice and how fluorescent. It's like yellowy, sort of neon green. I'm really surprised actually to see any of them still sitting here. If I could bring them back home, I would have I would have gobbled up all of these. Really, really cool. Oh, that's a good name. Did you just come up with that? Right now. Did the, pri did the price just go up too? Sprite. You for like 15 years. Have you ever, seen, have you ever seen them like that? Uh, probably a long time ago. We should do this video with you. Pat has a lot, a lot more experience than I do. He's probably got 15 years up on me. So for him to find something here at the show that he hasn't seen, then it's going to be really uncommon. Me, kind of, whatever. I'm a little biased, but he's got a ton, a ton of experience. Um, specifically ah, called, like, some, some pigment infection. Very cool birds. Seria torpa, Looks like it grows well for him. You can see a lot of them here. But not a color you'd expect to find on that sort of. I think them as like spiky bird's nest. They go really, really thin, really easy to frag. You can almost frag them by hand or accidental frags as you're cleaning, cleaning the tank. Um, not the craziest, most vibrant rainbow kind of coral out there. Again, I'm just trying to cover the really, They're the only hallucinations I've seen here today at the show. Oh, what are you? Give me a little whelk. It doesn't look appear to be a good snail. It is a pretty special it's sign that arena. One, right? Incredible, yeah. That's incredible, man. It's yellow, it's got some pink it on going on. Media? It's going on YouTube as we Tag speak. Us, man. Yeah, very, very nice piece. Um, and you know what? It's not too big, which is kind of nice because a lot of people are moving towards smaller tanks, nano tanks. You know, this is a beautiful specimen here, but where the hell are you going to put this? Unless you got 100 gallons or up, this is manageable. It's a decent size. It's maybe two inches across. And the color is spectacular. I've never seen, we import hundreds of sign arenas. I've never seen one um, with this variety and this pattern. Really, really cool piece. And Super healthy too. Living Reef. Shout out to Living Reef. That's where we found that. Oh, what up? <laughs> Living Check Reef. Out. Very nice Check piece. Oh, this is the rarest thing we've seen here at the show. It's a girl reef. Okay, we're taking a commercial break from the corals to talk about one of these. If you don't have one of these already on your tank, you need to get one, like Jeff is about to do right here. It creates <laughs> random flow, naturally, the way he's designed it here, based off your pump. It almost replaces like a wave maker. I can't say enough good things about the RFG. I saw this one earlier, it came back to it, it's finally opened up. Lots of flower pots of the show, lots of Ganiporas, Alveoporas. This is probably, not probably, this is it. This is the nicest single piece here. It is just fantastic. I'm never going to be able to capture how nice it is on camera. Orange, yellow, it's got this green base. Let me see if I can catch it from the side. Yeah, that's it. That is the nicest one. And I'm telling you, there are probably, no word of a lie, a thousand different types of flower pots here. This thing is truly spectacular. We are at right now Ward Ward Aquatics. What's the secret to keeping it? You want to give some tips to our, our reefing fam? Consistency. Consistency. Water quality. Water quality, yeah. That's it. Water change? Yeah. Some people don't. Yeah. I'm, a, I'm a water change guy. I'm a water change guy too. Yeah. yeah. Awesome, awesome piece. This is one that I actually really, really want to take home is this Fabia. 
over here. Everything in this thing is just looking spectacular. Lots of chalice here at the show. This one is the first I've seen of the mummy eye. This is a classic for me when I got into the hobby. I don't oh, want to yeah, say old school right 15, here. 16 years ago. This is a very nostalgic piece that I haven't really seen a lot of. This is the first one I'm seeing today. Really well encrusted. Um, people obviously don't know what they're looking for because 75 bucks, I think for a piece like that, is more, more than fair. I'd be happy to pay for two, three eyes. This is something we don't find up in Canada a lot. Really, really a steal and totally an unusual piece. Right now we are at, where are we? Knockout corals. That's a knockout price for a piece like that. So not the most rare or the most unusual, but for this show, very unusual. This is the first time I'm seeing today bubble coral. This is the, hmm, you know what? The Latin name is escaping me. Plagoria sinosa, something like that. I can't pronounce it, but I'm, this is, and they're actually quite large. We don't see a lot of colonies here today. Frags are definitely what is up at Reef of Palooza. And we have two very nice, very nice examples of bubble corals. Really, really healthy. Kind of surprised to still see them here. We're at BSA again, so much candy over in this tank. Uh, you know what, we covered in the other video, I'm not going to go over it too much again, I'm just going to give you a quick, quick glimpse of the insane flower pot, Ganipora, whatever we're looking here, the garden, the blastos are just, just incredible. There's really not one piece that stands out that I can pick that's nicer than the other because they're all truly special in their own right. Even this one little acan, like it's just an acan, it's pink, everything is just cherry. This guy really brought his top game. I think if I had to give the nicest corals here at the whole show, it's got to go to this guy. He's not even here right now to talk to us. He's got these weird funky white tanks. They look like no one else's. They got see-through on the side. Very unusual. Kind of a small unassuming setup. You wouldn't expect it to have crazy stuff, but if you know what you're looking for, absolutely stunning, stunning. And I really like that he's not running the strongest blues. He's got them almost on a 50-50 white sort of spread, so it's not exaggerating or showing them off. Um, I'm kind of used to seeing that Windex look, but they really, really stand out. Check out this one over here, this Connie here, green with red, and then the peachy one. Really, really natural, unexaggerated colors. Absolutely some of the nicest stuff here at the show today. Lots and lots of acans at the show. I know I'm not allowed to call them acans because they got reclassified recently as some sort of micromusa. I'm still going to call them acan lords because I'm old school. There's lots of rainbows, oranges, lots of cool colors. But this is very unusual. We have a yellow and purple kind of variety. It looks like it's probably from uh, probably from Australia. He's got a few of them here. They look well fragged. They're puffy. It's what I like to see out of an acan piece. Not the craziest, craziest color, but in terms of unusual and rare, that's definitely one of them. It's the first time I'm seeing them here today at the show. Coral, coral kings. The kings of coral. Very cool stuff. Very healthy selection. I'm not even going to get into the scolies because they're stupid. They're crazy. Acanthos are out of this world. I'm really, really looking for the, the u unusual, the weird and rare. Oh, kind of like this. Let's talk about so this Yuma. That yes, that what is cool. Green skirt. Oh, more of that plate coral. Maybe this is a little more common here than I thought. This is the second time I'm seeing it. The scolies are out of this world. Too nice to even speak about. I want to look for Oh, maybe this, actually, hello, in the back. Pink open brain, I've never seen one of that color. That is pretty cool. He's kind of hiding among the other rainbow uh, acanthos that are back here. He's kind of almost almost like a, a little a little hidden piece, but he shouldn't be, he's, he's quite large. I usually get stumped here. Um, I like to pride myself a little bit on the coral knowledge, so I just asked this gentleman. We are here at Coral Therapy. This is a turbinaria, so not the brightest, again, not the most colorful, not a rainbow, not a master scoli, but a very unusual and cool coral in its own right. It kind of grows like a pagoda, like a plate coral, like a monte cap. It's going to grow out into open waters. And obviously people don't know what they're looking for because it looks like all five are still here. But it's a really, really cool piece. Lots of nice bread and butter zoas. we got Fruit Loops. We have some Oompa Loompas, some maybe orange rainbows, rainbow incinerators. Really, really healthy and well puddled. And I think in terms of price, these guys are probably some of the best value. 25 bucks a frag or five for 100. You can't really uh, get any better than that. Very, very good bargain. As we're over here at zoanthids.com, one of the leading names when it comes to crazy Cool so it's got it hiding here in the corner. Something that I thought was pink crack, but it's not not quite. It's a little different, lots of heads on it. As a Zoa collector myself, if I was gonna take something home, it'd be something like this. Very cool. Pink, green, and then finishes with a yellow skirt. Super, super vibrant. I'm sure the camera is not picking up how nice they are. It's cool with this nice clean black acrylic background. Really, really unique piece right there. Okay, guys, in terms of bounce mushrooms, these are probably the nicest ones I'm seeing here today at the show. We have some really cool examples of WWC. 
OG, these are the ones everyone wants, OG bounce mushrooms, small ones, big ones, even bigger ones, a St. Thomas over here in the green variety, which is strange because I'm used to seeing that Superman, that red and blue with the big vesicles. I've actually never seen one this green. I know green, it's kind of like a common color, but it's a very, very rare one to find on that. We have a grafted Acan that's out of this world. It's rainbow mixed again with some green. Um, these guys have a lot of stand-up pieces. Usually I've been covering maybe one per booth, but I gotta talk about the sign arena for a second. Blue mouth, red and gold around the skirt. This endophilia, is that what you said? Yes. But it's blue. I thought it was an Encanto. I don't get stumped too often. That's a really, really cool piece. Overall, lots and lots of cherry, lots of candy to look at. Even this is scoly. Not the craziest one, but a cool orange and green. It goes back and forth. Lots of pattern to it. Where are we right now? Coral? Cali Kid. Cali Kid. Cali Kid. Very, very nice stuff. Master Scolies, the Yumas. This tank is on fire. Lots and lots of money in this thing. I'm not going to ask any prices. Like I said, if there's no prices on it, probably shouldn't be asking to begin with. Let's see what's over on this side. Lots and lots of Scolies, but I'm looking for that really weird shit, the really standout stuff that is unusual. These guys have lots of something I haven't seen a lot of today. We're seeing some colonies, some full pieces of Zoas. Look like they're probably from Indo. Very, very nice. Lots and lots of heads. I'm just becoming so used to seeing frags here. That's like basically what the show is about. It's more or less a frag swap. It's nice to see a full chunk, you know, 50 or more heads on something like this. Maybe some magicians. These look like Skittles. Really, really cool pieces. Even these. I don't know if they're offering them as full pieces, but kind of the stuff that we import from Indo. Nice colonies and, and pieces of Rhodactus mushrooms. Really good examples here. Something we don't see a lot up in Canada over here, Durasa clams. I haven't had them personally in about two years. You saw that shipment we brought in, like 60, 70 of them. But since then, a little bit hard to source. I think you guys are a little bit luckier in the States. You can get them. Um, the culture down here, you have the ORA that's making them. These are ORA, right? They're beautiful. They're really cool because it's one of the only like ones that'll uh, uh, survive in the sand. If you're going to do Maximus, Squamosus, Croceus, they really do best in the rock. It's a rock boring clam. This is a really cool example. Again, I'm surprised to still see it here. If it was me, if I could take it home, I'd grab something like that right away. That one or that one. Again, it's a very biased video, so stuff that's uncommon for me. You guys are maybe a little bit more used to seeing stuff like this, but it's a really, really cool piece. I have to show you guys this because the first time I'm seeing it at the show, it's a Will Sonai or Will Sony, however you want to pronounce it. We see lots of acans today, micro mousses, tons of acanthos, tons of scolies. This is actually quite rare. It comes from the western part of Australia, um, usually colder waters. I don't have the greatest success keeping them. This is one of the nicest I've seen ever, and it's rare not only to see, but today here at the show, and actually a colony. Everything has been frags today. This is big. We're talking probably four or five inches across. Really, really healthy example. Um, again, it's here because probably some most people don't know what they're looking at, or it's really expensive, right? Yes, it is. Yeah, okay, I'm not going to ask. What, upwards of a thousand, somewhere around there? No, no, no. No? No, 600. Oh, okay, well, so 600 <laughs> US, about a thousand Canadian works out. It's a really, really cool, cool piece. It's almost like... I don't know how to explain it. A Blasto and Acan Favia hybrid, something in between. It kind of grows like an an open brain or not 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 an open brain, but like a brain coral. But similar care requirements, low light, and it'll encrust and grow in this globe sort of formation. Really, really unique piece. Happy to see one here. Okay, I won't talk any more about Zoas. I'm gonna leave it with these ones when it comes to softies. These are very nostalgic for me. That's a Miami Vice. I don't see them often, and I don't see them. This size, color, this is a textbook. Perfect, perfect example. You have that cool hot pink mouth surrounded by the blue skirt. Anytime you see blue on a Zoa Rare, pink, sort of rare, and then the two of them together, they're just perfectly healthy. This is definitely one I would love to take home. I haven't had the greatest luck keeping them or growing them. Our friends here are saying that high flow is probably one of the tricks of them but really, really awesome. I'm surprised to see so many of them here. It looks like maybe only one move. I think people often don't know what they're looking for. It's quite rare, at least for me it is, and uh, it's very, very nostalgic. I mean, when I started in the hobby, it was um, one of the first ones that I ever paid for per polyp, so this one is uh, stands out to me a lot. I didn't even mention where I am. We're at Coral Morphologic. These guys have been around forever. Out of, you guys are in Florida, right? In Miami, yeah, thanks, man. Hey, okay, guys and gals, fellow reefing fam, we're at Unlimited Coral, and there's two, maybe three corals here I wanna to talk to you about that really stand out. Golden plate coral hiding over here that's really, really yellow with some green undertones, really healthy example, polyps are out. The orange rainbow, so this is kind of a, a common zoa, but these guys, I don't know what they're doing, they're feeding them crack because they're getting the best 
best color and best size that I've seen these uh, on the Zoas today. And then this signed arena is just out of here. Words cannot describe how nice this piece is. It's so happy, it's almost jumping out of its skeleton. Super puffy, almost looks like it wants to be a bounce mushroom when it grows up. Okay guys, I gotta show you this because the first time I'm seeing it, not only at the show, but in general, we have here, they almost look like grafted and enemies, little bubble tips, half of it showing off flame, like a little red and orange tip on the left. And then I don't know if the camera's picking up the color. Oh, on the right there, they're the green. This is unusual too because we're only seeing frags today. We have a nice golden wall hammer example. Looks like Australian, really cool piece. Even the Favia, very nice stuff. And it's just nice to see larger specimens. Just lots and lots of frags, which are great. But this is this is what it's all about. If you got a bigger tank, what are you gonna do with the little frag? This is at least something sizable. But those are very, very, I guess it's reflected in the price. Very rare. I have never seen one like that before. Very cool piece. We are at PV, PV Reef. I get stumped, but I'm stumped on these. This is a first for me here. These are, what did you say they were? Borman Rockinanes. Borman Rockinanes. Are they common? They're not common, no. No, I've never seen them. They're really good for an aggressive tank. Aggressive? Because nothing eats them. Ah, okay. So they're like pretty Aptasia. Yeah. yeah, yeah. They're nice. Well, I guess some, some things eat Aptasia. What do these sell for? Those are 15 bucks. Wow, they're cheap. Yeah. Hmm. Very cool Gorgonians as well. I guess these are not photosynthetic, huh? Correct. Yeah, I don't have luck with these ones, but they look good. Olives are out. What are you feeding them? Live Fido? No, I just do uh, Reefroids on these. Yes. Reefroids, huh? There you go. See, uh, guys, I was shouting out earlier on the channel Reefroids and um, telling you how much I love them. And apparently, that is the key to keeping these very cool Gorgonians here in the tank, too. Thanks, man. Okay, I lied. I said I wasn't going to talk about torches anymore because there's so many at the show, but I just stumbled upon one more. They're calling it the Rasta Torch. I haven't seen one like this. It's got, it's almost black. It's so dark in the base and then finished with a yellow and green polyp. Lots and lots of heads. This is not a frag by any means. Closer to a colony size. What does something like that run? Uh, 450. 450. Actually, kind of reasonable for the size five, what we're looking five at. Heads. Yeah, five heads is actually very reasonable. Very, very cool piece. I've never seen one like that. You guys know that we import a ton of ton of torch in the store. You've seen thousands come through. This one is stumpy. That's really one of a kind unusual piece that I wouldn't expect to still be here at the end of the day of a reef show like this. Where are we? Ring tail exotics. I've never heard of you guys. Oh, very nice. Thank you guys. Guys and gals, I keep wanting to wrap up the video. I'm getting tired of talking. We've been here all day. And then I stumbled upon these right here. We are at sub, where are we? Sub culture corals. I haven't seen a lot of these at the show. They're quite rare. Uh, we see lots of scolies. There's masters. There's candy apples. There's war points. These are button scully so they don't get as large we find them in some parts of australia and these are very good colors for them so the ones that you've seen us import on the channel before they're not the most colorful we kind of get they're they're meh they're okay ones like these really they almost look like acans are so colorful really cool examples and perfect sizes really uh really happy to see some of them here at the show today i've talked all day guys i've used every word that i have in my repertoire all my adjectives stunning amazing whatever rainbow i think for this one i'll just shut the hell up I'll show you the price and then I'll just focus on the coral for a second because it's something else. Really, really, there's this one and there's this one here. Maybe it's quiet time. We'll just let the coral do the talking. I still can't, I can't, I can't. It's just, it's just something else. Really one of a kind. Whoever takes it home will be very lucky at the end of the show for pieces like this. Truly special. Look healthy too. Nice size, nice color. Where are we? Blue Sea Aquarium. It's cool, man. It's too much candy. Just too much to look at. Um, I thought I walked all of it and then I realized I actually missed two entire rows entirely. I think that's it though. You know what? If we keep doing this, we're going to be here all day. I'm sure there's stuff I'm glossing over. I'm sure there's stuff in the videos that you guys have seen that you thought were rare. Comment below. Uh, having a lot of fun doing this. We're going to come back tomorrow. And we are going to do a video only on, where am I going? I want to try and find this guy so we can wrap it up. We're not going to do any more corals. We're going to talk about only the hardware, all the other fun stuff that go with the hobby. So Reef of Palooza, more of like a hobbyist side of the expo. I really like doing Macna, just being on the business side as a business owner, getting to see all the new products. This has really been one of the most impressive things for me here are the sumps here from Luna. I'm just blown away. The quality, um, the workmanship, just like perfect, perfect seams, all laser cut. I'm going to talk about the more tomorrow's video. We're going to only do the hardware side of the, the show and walk around. And I hope you guys have enjoyed it. We're having a lot, a lot of fun doing this. And thank you for watching today's episode brought to you from Orlando, Florida, Reef of Palooza. We really enjoyed doing this. This has been another good one of Fragbox TV. All right, guys, we thought the video is over. Tia, Tia found me and she wants to share her favorite coral. Which one? Oh, Which? They have like the little bubbles. All oh, the mushrooms. Yeah. They have them, they're like, like that big. They're doing great. Oh, that's great. You got, you, you've got some, some kind of uh, so weird. Secret, secret trick. Yeah. Yeah. I put them on the sands. Yeah. Just like you. So weird. <laughs>
Now, 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 now the video's done. Now, now, we'll see you guys tomorrow.